So, flight plan KM. Where's the QQ? <laughs> y. Enter. And then I, I'll just do this vertical nav thing, even though it's sort of irrelevant. Then, um, I'm going to go ahead and select our approach now, since we're just going to be kind of quick. Do you want to program in ILS 3.2? Yep. Okay, ILS 3.2, with assumption of vectors to find them. Oh, they gave BNA as a choice. We didn't think they were going to do that, did we? What yep. is BNA? But I didn't think that, I didn't think that was an IAF for it when when you and I looked at it. Right. But it must be. Huh? Must be, huh? Let's get she got real quick. MQY. And it was uh, six eighty. Was that what it was? Right here. Uh, Seven eighteen. Seven eighteen. Oh, okay. You can use this. Thanks. Oh, I don't look right to me. Stand yeah. by. And uh, load, or should we just activate it? I would load it for now. Okay. Because if they say cleared as filed, they'd expect you to go directly to the airport for the first few minutes. Okay. okay. They would? Not well, to choke we, them? After we, we filed, we filed from here to there. There it is, filed. Yeah. If okay. they said that, I don't know what, I don't know what they'll say. I know what they're going to say yet. Okay. So, um, you just go up here, enter this, and we'll make sure we got our AWAS plugged in here. We do on COM2. 600. Scattered. Ceiling, 2,500. Overcast. Temperature, 2, 3. Dew point, 2, 3. Altimeter, 2, 9, -er, nine -er. 1. Remarks. Density altitude, 1,700. Lebanon Municipal Airport. Automated weather observation, one niner five five Zulu, wind one five zero at eight, visibility four, sky condition. Okay, one five zero at eight. And what was your ceiling and visibility? Two five, five, I don't remember, it doesn't matter. It does really matter because a, a door pops open on takeoff and uh, do you have the weather to come back and land? So now you're not on VFR pilot anymore, now you're IFR. You gotta make sure you have good enough weather to come back and land. Lebanon Municipal Airport. Automated weather observation, one niner five five Zulu. Wind, one five zero. At eight, visibility, four. Sky condition, 1,600. Scattered, ceiling, 2,500. Overcast. Temperature, okay. 2, 4. Dew point, 2, 3. Altimeter, 2, 9, -er, nine -er, 1. Remark. So there's a scattered DAC and then uh, 2,504, so obviously the weather's good enough to get, come back here. Okay. But as an IFR pilot, you have to listen to ceiling and vis very, really carefully and then try to process, is that good enough to come back? Is that good enough to land at my destination? Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Good. Another good lesson. So uh, now we want to get Nashville departure up here. That'll be our first frequency that we would encounter after our local area frequency. And then on the bottom here, we probably want to go to flight plan Smyrna and get the weather there uh, plugged in. Perfect, yeah. Down here. Put that in the active spot. And then maybe their tower frequency, just in case, or what'd you say, put in ground? What yeah, do you think the... Either the ground, tower, or I usually put the, the, the FBO's information in there so that I can call the FBO to get the taxi cab or the, <laughs> the, the ride to the hotel or whatever. Okay. I usually, I'd usually talk on the top area. Yeah. The bottom right. one's for ad, ad administrative... Administrative stuff, okay. Yep. 
So uh, we're all set. And if you really want to get ahead, just press that button right now. It won't do anything until you start, until you get high enough, then you'll start hearing that ATIS and it will remind you, oh, I better I better get this down. Cause he's going to ask me in two seconds if I have the weather and uh, at Smyrna. On these short flights, I do that, and it kind of reminds me to get it. So engine parameters are oil temperature, PSI, cylinder head temperatures, and then TITs. That looks good. Power lever, light instruments. This is super important if you're going to take off in the weather. Yeah. Within the 75 feet of field elevation. Yeah, to make sure that, because there's a magnetometer in the left wing tip that sends the information here, and I've seen those go bad before. Oh, like yeah. One guy in the instrument flight, pull onto the runway. He didn't look at this versus the runway, and I said, dude, we're not going to go in the clouds. Your thing is like 90, 90 degrees <laughs> off. They paid, what were you in? They, uh, Saratoga. Oh, really? It was, yeah, they, people just pay lip service to this. You really got to <laughs> check that stuff. Interesting. Yeah, no lip service, right? I guess the assumption is it never goes bad, huh? <laughs> Probably shouldn't even do the checklist then. <laughs> right. Just take off. Just assume everything's fine. Okay, so now what we got to do is call uh, air traffic control and get our IFR clearance to take off. We're five minutes after when we said. How long do we have exactly? Yeah, 30 minutes before to two hours after. Oh, okay, so we're good. So it's um, flight service. I don't know where you programmed it in your phone. I, I put national, it's programmed under national approach on my phone. Okay. I think I sent you my contact. Yeah, there permission. it is. There it is. Just going to say you're at Mike 54, IFR back to Mike 54. With I, uh, the Cirrus 327 Lima Kilo at Mike 54, looking for IFR clearance back to Mike 54 for IFR training. Holding for release, 7 Lima Kilo. I'm right down, whatever he tells you. Ma'am, I'm sorry, I'm having trouble hearing you because of our connection for some reason. Would you repeat that? That's uh, cleared for the round robin, Mike 54 to Mike 54. Expect radar vectors. Climb runway heading to 3000. Departure frequency 1184. Squawk 4370. We're departing runway 19, Mike 54. We're ready for departure presently. Affirm our void time is our our void time is is twelve. So twenty twelve will be out uh, immediately. Uh, Seven Lima Kilo. Okay, bye. Lebanon area traffic. Cirrus three two seven Lima Kilo taking runway one nine for takeoff. Lebanon. And then uh, always take a moment. Make sure you got you took action on this stuff. So runway heading. I see that. 3,000, I see that. 18,4, I see that. 4,370. Okay. So don't ever get rushed. Okay. Have a look to your right for me. What are you done? What's that? Have a look to your right for me. Yeah, you're clear. You might consider hitting the takeoff button, which is the go-around button. It will give the flight director up for you. That way, if the weather's really bad, you just match the two up, you know?
Lebanon traffic, Cirrus 327, Lima Kilo, airborne out of 19. Departing the pattern due south, last call, Lebanon. Smyrna Airport. Automated weather observation. Before you call him, you might consider going heading, autopilot, indicated airspeed. Area. At zero, four. Dialing 120. One, zero, Envoy 3850, thanks for your patience. The center maintains 6,000 and fly heading up 290. Alright, 6,000 and heading 290 under 3850. Celsius, Southwest 556, the center maintains 6,000. Altitude 1,800. Smyrna Airport. Automated weather observation, one, niner, five, six, Zulu. Wind variable at zero, four. Visibility, one, zero. Sky condition, scattered, niner, hundred, overcast, one, thousand, seven. Over 3850, uh, turn left heading 270 and contact What's going to radio call just high altitude? Yes, uh, 2.3 for 3,000. 270 on the heading and 12475 and there were 3850. Vertical track. National departure, Cirrus 327, Lima Kilo, 2,500 for 3,000. For 327, Lima Kilo, National departure, I, Daniel Timbers, 2990. 990, 7 Lima Kilo. I'm selling the kilo radar contact four south of uh, Lebanon, LTK 2700, say request. Uh, uh, passing 2.9 for 3000, requesting the ILS uh, 32 in uh, Smyrna. Passing 2.9 for 3000, request ILS 32 Smyrna. I'm selling the kilo, maintain 3000, and uh, fly heading of 160, vectors for ILS 32 approaching to Smyrna. Did you say 16 or 13? 16. 160, 7 Lima Kilo. Number seven zero Zulu to send a maintain four thousand. Four thousand, and we could accept the uh, ILS three two. Also, if it makes, if it helps. Number seven zero Zulu, it's up to you, sir. Yeah, he, you're going to be first. He's going to get vector to follow you, so it's up to you, sir. You'll be first. So we'd like the ILS three two. Number seven zero Zulu, maintain four thousand right, and so turn can, right, can, heading of one four zero. Four thousand, right turn one four zero three seventy three. Thank you. So that was 556, maintain uh, 5,000, I think you gave it to you already. Uh, nope, and then we're down to 5,000. Thank you. Ouch. Okay. Thank you. Where are you going? Feels like we're in a left bank, but we're level. Good level. Yeah, get your fuel flow set, and then we have to brief the approach. Do you want me to actually lean it out? Yeah. There you go. That's good. Then we start at the top, ILS 3.2, we have that programmed in. Localizer 111.1, look for that. Oh, it's a big green thing there. So that you ensure that... was 556, kind of approach on 124.75. Approach course 321, look here. 320, 321, that looks good. Runway's long enough. Look at the NOTAMs, you have to have GPS because the, like the DME is out of service or something like that. Some non-standard takeoff and alternate minimums. There's the lighting. And the missed approach instructions, go ahead and read those and make sure you understand. Missed approach instructions is climb to 1,500. Or a then a climbing Number right turn to 3,000. Climb out instructions are turn right heading 090, maintain 3,000, return this frequency. Climb instructions, uh, 090, 3000, remain with you, or back to you, 7 Lima Kilo. So what she said is, uh, 7 Lima Kilo, your climb out instructions are different. Hers trump those. So when we go missed, we're just going to go to 090 and set 3000 and return to her frequency. Okay. Alright. That's what that sounded like, but I've never heard that before. Right. So we got, we got that. Hey, why don't you listen to? Nashville, you're talking to, so what's the next frequency you should have in there? 1185. Go ahead and put that in. That's why we always brief the approach, because we don't end up getting behind. And <laughs>
National departure. Yeah, what's the next block? Clearance ground. We don't really care about any of that shit. There's our airplane, so we're on the right downward right now. Contact, climb and maintain that makes one sense, right downward. Five we'll thousand. Right days, and, and turn left, like we talked one, about. Uh, correction, turn left, heading of a zero, three, zero, please. And then when we get that last call, clear the approach, you can go heading. Number seven, zero, zero, turn right, heading two, zero, zero. Two, zero, zero, three, seven, easy. Number seven, Lima Kilo, finding one nine or zero. One nine or zero, seven Lima Kilo. And our whole goal in life is to get to the final approach fix at about between 100 and 120 knots. Because at, at the final approach fix, ox, cog, or whatever you call that thing, you have to have your gear down, flap 50%. And you're slowing down to 100 knots for the approach until you break out of the weather. And 100 gives your autopilot the authority to fly well, and if it's gusty and stuff like that. 2740 to maintain 2,500. 240 and heading down to 2,500. Whether you're hand flying or not. Look how pretty this is. This is pretty much what it looked like when I flew in on uh, Sunday. <laughs> Now I could see a lot better than that. I was just below the clouds. Yeah. Don't hit any towers. Yeah. I mean, coming out of, I'm telling you, you ever land at downtown Island Airport, Knoxville? Uh, oh, yeah, 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 I have, I have. I you got to watch your ass on those towers to yeah. the left coming in and out. Yeah. They're on the right coming out. But yeah, that's a little tiny airport. Yeah, and the that towers are below the airport. We're following here. him, man. When I took off, uh, when I landed on, on the Remote approach, zero, eight, zero. You know, I was well below the height of those towers. You have to navigate horizontally away from them. Going to Kansas City sometime, land in Kansas City downtown, and you're below the buildings, the skyscrapers. Really? Above you. You have to kind of do a pylon turn around the skyscrapers to get on final. That's pretty not, cool. I would not want to work in those buildings. I know. Number 7 zero, Zulu, turn right heading 290, intercept 32 localizer. 290, the joint will localize at 370. His call's a little different. 70 McKilo, turn right, heading 220. 220, 70 McKilo. She told him to turn to a heading to intercept the localizer. She didn't clear on the approach. So in his case, he hits heading nav so it doesn't come down until he hears those keywords clear the approach. Right? Heading nav, okay. Because she said just to intercept the localizer. She didn't give him clearance to descend or... Or that Number seven zero Zulu, four miles from Oxica, maintain two thousand till established on the localizer, cleared Alice three two approach at Smyrna. Two thousand till established, cleared for the Alice three two Smyrna and for three seventy two. So that now he's cleared the approach. And we can see we're we're slightly below glide up right now. Attentional aircraft pyre up at two zero eight two zero one three Zulu. B E twenty, twenty southeast of Nashville, reported moderate rime icing at flight level two four zero. We don't have to worry about that, and it's 19 degrees here, so we're, we're good. It looks like he's almost on the localizer. At what point? And just FYI, uh, 370Z has the airport site. At which point? 370C, uh, thanks. Uh, registers terminate, contact Smyrna Tower, 118.5. At which point would I turn to 90 degree heading on my departure on the, on the mist? Once you're safely airborne, maybe like four or 500 feet in the air. Okay. Pass the departure. All right, here comes the big radio call and turn. Southwest 1487, past 2500, climbing via the SID to uh, 4000. Southwest 1487, actual departure, radar contact, climbing to 15000, proceed direct to Sammy. Up to 15000 and direct to Sammy, Southwest 1487. Number 3, Michael, proceed direct Tyson. Direct 
Tyson, 6 Ram, I'm thanks. 7 Lee McKeel, it's going to maintain 2,500, turn right heading 250. 250, 2,500, 7 Lee McKeel. Nashville approach, bear 929 Delta, level 8, weather at uh, 2, Spicale. Number 929 Delta, Nashville approach, roger, be advised, uh, a notice to airmen at John Toon, ILS 20 is not monitored. Yeah, I've got that, thanks a lot. Number 29 Delta, when able, proceed direct by call, it's going to maintain 6,000. All right, direct by call, just send maintain 6,000, 29 Delta. Number three, Mike Golf, contact Memphis Center, 132.9 or good day. 32946, right, Mike Golf, we'll see you. Stop with 1487, climb, maintain flight level 280. Flight level 280, Southwest 1487, any route ports. Number seven, Lee McKeel, turn right heading 290, intercept 32, localizer. 290 zero to intercept localizer 32. I'm sorry, sir. I saw was 1487. I cut you off. Uh, what'd you say? Uh, I just wonder if there's any ride reports. That was 1487. Uh, no. Um, two, we haven't had any to intercept um, the localizer. So I'm not sure if it's smooth, but we haven't had any turbulence issues. Okay, okay. I think. Do my guns check. Yeah. There's Stanley McKilo, four miles from Oxta, maintain 2,500 to establish on localizer, clear out 32 approach. 2,500 till established, cleared ILS 32 Smyrna, 7 in kilo. Perfect. Let's finish up your uh, gums check. Yeah, don't come, don't come slower than 100. That's the region of reverse command. It takes more power to go slower. <laughs> All right, so the course is alive, so you're technically established on the localizer right now. So technically you could go down to uh, 2,000 feet, but it's going to take care of it for you because it's just going to ride the glide slope down. Does that make sense? Yeah, it does. No, oh yeah, yeah, perfect. Yeah, one dot, one dot below you do that. What does that white GS mean to you? But it's not captured yet. Yeah, it's just armed. The glide slope is armed and hasn't captured. When that gets in the middle, that GS will come over here to your altitude, start blinking, then it will stick, say, solid green glide that slope. That was 1487 traffic, 12 o'clock and 12 miles of the so plateau. jumped over there instead of altitude 2500. Uh, now it says I'm trying to get it. I'm trying. Okay, uh, look for traffic and good red through. Solid, he gets it. Turn. Turn. It's green. There's Stanley McKeel, radar service terminated. Contact Smyrna Tower, 118.5. See you in a minute. 118.5, see you on the mist. 7 Lee McKeel. 7 Lee McKeel. There's no voice recognition. That was 1487. Turn. Just say uh, inbound ILS 32. Smyrna Tower, Sirius 327 Lee McKeel, inbound ILS 32. Sirius 327 Lee McKeel, Smyrna Tower, 11805, altimeter 2992, runway 32, clear low approach. Cleared low approach, runway 32, 7 Lima Kilo. Okay. And because of the winds, we got 17 knot tail and 21 knots of crosswind. We're pointing that way, even though we're going that way. So that dude that came in before us landed with a 17 knot tail one. Up here it's 17, on the ground it said variable at 4. Interesting. Right. Yeah, but that's still got to be a bitch of a landing. No. Oh. Because once you're down on the ground, it's just stupid. You know, it's only 4 knots of it, who cares? So the way I'm managing power is I expect to be at 25 to 30 percent, and if I'm 27, I might expect to have to add a little I'm below that, add more, yeah. come above it, take a little off. And notice your pitch right now. That's five degrees nose low. That's two and a half degrees nose low, and so it's basically just one and a half to two degrees nose low with this tailwind happens to to be working for you. But notice how steady that pitch is. Now it's going to about two degrees nose off. And we're passing 1300 13 for 
Well, this is our 500 foot call out right here, is it? Is it a 500 foot you usually use? If you'll hear the Garmin will tell you 500. 1200 for 700. Yeah, when you and that that's the latest point. Everything has to be nice and stable. If you're not stable when you hear that Garmin say 500, you have to go around. Five hundred. We're stable. Yeah. Nine hundred. One thousand for seven twenty. Okay. Nine twenty for seven twenty. Eight twenty for seven twenty. You look outside. You're still in the clouds. Fifty to minimum. Minimums. Yeah, you Minimums. Look outside, you're still in the clouds. Smyrna, seven kilo, or on the missed approach. Sir, seven lima kilo, Rich Connick, National Departure. National Departure, seven lima kilo. Okay, let's aviate, navigate, then communicate. So, power up, pitch up, clean up. Here in flaps. Traffic, five o'clock, low, less than one mile. And then we make sure that this is in the proper mode. Yours did it for you, went back to GPS. Right. 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 And then IAS 120. And Nashville departure, Sears 327, Lima Kilo, on the mist. Right, 327, Lima Kilo, Nashville departure, verifies turning out right to 090. Okay. Turning right, zero nine zero seven lima kilo. Yeah, so remember. Here. Seven lima kilo, thank you. Maintain three thousand. Three thousand seven lima kilo. And ma'am, uh, for uh, training purposes, we are requesting the published mist. Seven lima kilo. Unable. Turn right, heading zero nine zero. Seven lima kilo. And you're given the mist approach on the ghost, sir. We have traffic departing a natural start or um, separating from you, so you need to uh, listen to control instructions and follow them, sir. Salvo is fourteen zero four. Proceed direct to Oscar. Just say unable. Number seven, Lima Kilo, what's your next approach request? Uh, ILS 32, publish missed. Uh, ILS 32, Smyrna. How many more do you want to do? Uh, two more. Two more, ma'am. Number seven, Lima Kilo, Roger, your climate instructions remain the same. Roger that, seven, Lima Kilo. <laughs> she was cleaning us up, right? <laughs> You're not allowed, allowed to make a request nowadays? No, you're not. <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> right, let's punch off the auto pilot and hand fly. Okay. So when I do that, I'm just going to take it all off. Yeah, now you're just doing raw data, which sometimes is easier than trying to keep up with all this. I, I definitely believe it is. Six, not cool. This is actually pretty good weather to do this at. It's perfect, yeah. I'm, I'm, for all of me, thinking I gotta really lean this plane to the left to keep going at nine oh zero nine zero. It's yeah. a pretty strange yeah. feeling. Just match those triangles up once you got it. Try to keep them matched up. Your power back. You might want to lean out a little bit. It's like texting and driving. You do, you do one thing and you look back to your attitude indicator immediately. Kilo, turn right heading 130. 130, 7 kilo. So use that first, 130. 
the next question is, what are you navigating off of right now? What does your scoreboard say? Uh, it says uh, that we're navigating uh, to Kuyag, which is the uh, published mist, isn't it? Yeah, we don't want that, because she already told us, ain't no way you're going to get that. <laughs> so, well, you just, well, yeah, you could have just activated Vector to final. Oh, hello. Now I gotta activate it. Back to my <laughs> back to my attitude in the game. <laughs> that's hard to do, man. Yeah, that's how we're practicing it. Yeah. <laughs> that was fourteen zero four contact Memphis Center one three two point nine. Back to the final. Thirty two nine. Final approach fix, which is seven miles away. Okay, I'm a little. Attention, uh, aircraft to fire up a two zero two five Zulu aircraft at type unknown thirty southeast Nashville reported light rime icing between flight level two one zero and flight level two four zero. So when I. When I just looked over there and looked back, one of the things that disoriented me slightly was I was climbing a bit, and this green thing was all the way under my speed indicator, so I couldn't see it at all. And I'm, <laughs> I'm using it to fly a lot, I'm using it quite yeah, a bit. So much cross on it. Yeah, and so it, uh, it, it was, it was. I was for a second there. I was like, you know, <laughs> having to really take a hard look at that yeah. thing. Technically, this should be your primary thing. That's kind of like a secondary to look at. So right now, it, it looks like it's taken about two... Two and a half nose high, yeah, two, two, two to two and a half nose high to hold bubble flying. And just try to get it trimmed up, hands off. It's pretty trimmed. Yeah. There's seven Lima Kilo, turn right heading 180. Uh, 180, seven Lima Kilo. It's a standard rate turn here. Number seven Lima Kilo. I'm looking at the mist approach here. If you wanted to, um, are, you, are you just wanting to shoot the mist and you can go to uh, Koyag on your own and hold, or are you expecting vectors? What, what's the plan there? Seven Lima Kilo, we want to do the published mist you know, as published. We'll do it on our own. Yeah, I see that. The issue is I need a 90 right away because if you climb runway heading at 1,500 feet, I was really close to that southwest come out in Nashville, last one. I can have you do the published miss if you can make that right turn right away and if you want to just go out there and hold on your own. Okay. If you make the right turn, then I, I can't do it, so it's up to you. Just let me know. Yeah, we could turn up uh, uh, once we're safely airborne, so pass the departure and send them to or so let me kill. All right, so uh, you can just uh, execute the publish miss approach on uh, this go around and uh, just report uh, established at Koya. Let me know when you want to do the next one. Seven Lima Kilo, thank you. So she got a little bit mad that we did. You made that radio call before commencing your turn, and you got close to a southwest flight. So remember, it's aviate, navigate, then communicate. <laughs> so uh, I made what turn before I thought On the missed approach, you I called her going straight out. You didn't turn 090, and she saw your radar blip going right towards the southwest airplane. Oh, so that's what pissed her off. Yeah, that's okay. why she was so mad at us. I get it. Now I get it. <laughs> well, I mean, you know, she takes her job seriously. I think I admire that. Well, no, you have to. We're in the weather. And there's a little blop. The little blip's getting close together. <laughs> This is a, uh, I would say this is somewhat of a challenging hand flight as far as just looking at, you know, my six pack here and yeah. trying to stay, keep my shit together. It's so nice though, because it's all right there for you, and then occasional glance over here. Yeah, occasionally glance over there. So on this missed approach, we're not, we're going to disregard that 1500 as soon as we're safely airborne. If the gear and flaps up, we'll make that 090 pass the departure in. Okay. Interesting. The autopilot will not be engaged, so it's going to be who? So we're still in a kilo flighting 200, just going to maintain 2,500. Heading 200 for 2,500, 7 a kilo. Very nice pitch control, I like it. It's basically 500, 600 feet per minute. You're not kamikaze down, and you're not flight level. You're doing it just right. Just like one or two degrees lower than what you had before. It's amazing how accurate that is. Yeah. 
It sure is. And once you believe in it, then it makes your instrument flying a lot smoother and safer. Executive 390, Nashville departure, radar contact, climbing chain 15000. Climbing chain 15000, Executive 390. That's our guys, exec job. Not my company. Approach Denso 1458 with the out of 13 for 10,000 whiskey. I'm selling the kilo fighting 270. 270, 700 kilo. Delta 1458, Nashville approach back, vectors out with two zero left. Two zero left, and sorry, that was, uh, we're 6,000 via the, uh, Thank you, sir. Sort of an oscillating wind here. There we go. 270. <laughs> Remember on this mist, you don't have the autopilot, so you have to use that right rudder. Oh, yeah, I used the right rudder on the last one, <laughs> just to be sure. <laughs> Still hit the uh, go around button now just to get the. Yep, it will change the green data. needles to magenta needles and it will walk you through the. Uh... Exit at 390, turn left heading 080. Left turn 080, exit at 390. Delta 1458, proceed direct Wayland, it's going to maintain 6000. Direct Wayland 6000, Delta 1458. Number 7, Lima Kilo 4 from Oxida, terrain 290, maintain 2000 until established on the localizer, cleared Alice 3 to approach. 290 heading to 2000 until established, cleared ILS 32 Smyrna, 7 Lima Kilo. Delta 1458, contact approach 124.75. 124.75, Delta 1458. And we're not going to hit the approach button because I'm just, just going to hand fly it, so fly your head. Exactly, 390 when able, proceed direct uh, volunteer, Victor, X ray, Victor. <laughs> The volunteer executive. Let's stand this heading until the needle comes off the wall, then start a, just a shallow turn to 321, which is your no wind heading. That's coming off the wall. So most of us would probably set this to the no wind heading of 321. Then you're just going to pick a heading that keeps it centered up. It would be 321 plus or minus, probably 5 degrees. To so roll out, go there, because you want to be perfectly centered up. Maintain 2000, maintain 2000 until that gets centered. Exit jet 390, contact Memphis Center 132.9 today. 329, Exit jet 390, song. Yeah. A bit of power. November 7, Lima Kilo, radar service terminated, contact Smyrna Tower 118.5. Smyrna Tower, 7 Lima Kilo, thank you. Altitude. Smyrna Tower, Cirrus 327 Lima Kilo, 1700 ILS 32. Cirrus 327 Lima Kilo, Smyrna Tower, runway 32, cleared low approach. Cleared low approach up 327 Lima Kilo. Let's see one continuous arrow. So pick a heading. You got to get that dotted line between those two. You got to pick a heading that will keep that. So warm. The, the glide slips above me, so I'm going down a little too fast. Right, here. and you're a little right, of course. Criminal, I'm playing hands off. That one, there you go. So you're almost back on course. Use the power a little bit, you're about 15 knots fast. 1200 for 720. Uh, and the glide slope's a little below me, isn't it? Yeah, you're pretty good. I mean, it's, you're almost, you're just a the hair high, not bad. 
1,000 for 720. 500. I get low. Out low. Now lower your nose to about five to six hundred feet per minute. Eight hundred for seven twenty. Minimums. Minimums. Clean up, and then we call it suspend, or make sure it's in the appropriate mode. Sir, seven lemon kilo, uh, contact national departure, and uh, there's some precipitation moving in from the west up through the southeast. Uh, we expect visibility and ceiling to be lower next time. Uh, roger that. We'll contact uh, national departure, seven lemon kilo. We're on the nest. All right, zero nine zero, please. the red button to get rid of the flight director. Don't overbank, just 20 degrees of bank's fine. And I think you have to go up to 3,000, set that up to 3,000. Flip flop to her. Now you give her a call, we keep the turn coming. The pass on 1,600. Nashville departure series, 327 Lima Kilo through 1,600 for 3,000. Number 327 Lima Kilo, Nashville departure, ready to contact mile north of the field. Uh, hold at Koyag as published. Advise ready for your next approach. Altimeter is 290. Seven Lima Seven Lima Kilo. All right. And then you probably need the nav button, I guess, just to get you on that course there. Nashville approach, good afternoon. We are one thing of Kilo 10-9, uh, descending via the Paisley 4 landing south. We have whiskey. We are one tango kilo Nashville approach. Where are you parking today in the field? We are going to Atlantic for one tango kilo. We are one tango kilo. Roger. Proceed direct hickory. Vector file is two zero right approach. Okay. Any chance to left side for one tango kilo? That's good. Just roll out. Absolutely. Proceed direct Wayland. Change approach. Vector file is two zero left That's approach. True. Okay. Direct Wayland. One tango kilo. Trying to get out of that one. One tango kilo. Descend to maintain six thousand. 6,000, one tango kill. Approach pick up 4558, it's on the arrival with whiskey. Pick up 4558, Nashville approach, bag vector, Xylos, to your left. 20 left. November 1, Tango Kilo, contact approach 124.75 and speed 250 or better for now, please. Okay, 2475 and uh, 250 or better on the speed, 1 Tango Kilo. Break your 4558, reduce speed to 250, then continue your descent. 250 speed, then continue to pick up 458. There's 31 knots of wind pushing us that's that way, that's why we're kind of off the heading to maintain this course is over here somewhere. Um, you might want to put your yaw damper on just to save your feet. Your yaw damper. There you go. Do so your hand fly with the benefit of the flight director right now, and you have the yaw damper. A lot of work. It's a lot going on. A lot, of, a lot of content. There's a lot more going on than it looks like. Like yeah. if you watch the video, I'm just sitting here staring, looking stupid. <laughs> <laughs> but if you if you're doing it, you know, there's just a lot of things going on all at once, constantly, constantly going on. But you're doing a great job. You see that little, that blue line is your flight path marker. It pretty much matched up there. That's cool. There's a white magenta line that's hidden underneath here. So this heading here is working perfectly. So Nashville down to uh, 25, 99. So that's 16 to center. And that the one critique item from the last no, ILS course is you back wrote back most of the uh, right ILS, of course. Zero left approach. I think you were putting too much effort zero into zero putting left. that Thanks. flight so path marker on the end of the runway. Break your 4558, turn right 10 degrees, descent to maintain 6,000. 
Right turn 10 degrees down to 6 hours, pick up for the FDA. And that's what protects us, the staying on course, it protects us from hitting hills and towers and buildings and all that kind of stuff, right? Yep. People leave in that kind of stuff. Big Garrett 4558, contact first, 124.75, good day. 124.75, 45 today. I'm flying six or 700 hours a year. <laughs> this holding pattern, what kind of entry are you going to do? I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to do a teardrop. Teardrop, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's one of those things that, man, I'll tell you what, you know, like that test, I'll figure it out for the test, but it takes so long to figure that out. I mean, how do they expect you to do that in the middle of a busy flight? It's just crazy. I mean, you got to have a way to do it by just eyeballing what's happening. That's what I do. I'll, I'll, we can go over it on a piece of paper at the, at the table next time, and I'll, I'll show you it's nothing hurt. I don't know. Did you notice a little message that flashed up there on the scoreboard? Negative. It said, turn left to 092. And, that, and it, it also told you it was a teardrop heading. So I, I set your head into 092. Oh, look, it started a clock running. Yeah. Where's the clock? Uh, oh, that's so cool. On the outbound. I guess that's the outbound. You just do that for one minute, right? 092. 092. No, I'm, I'm, I got the flight director. I'm on. Uh, See, look. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, because of the wind, wind I guess. Yeah. yeah. You just mentioned the flight director. Interesting. So the 092 must have been a no, no, no wind heading. Huh. Going kind of fast here. I'm going to... Yeah, I think 120 is what Sirius yeah, 1 yeah. tells us to hold it. back off a little bit here. Getting kind of bumpy, Jim. <laughs> turn right in three seconds. One, initiating a right turn. Yeah, what, what, what's the inbound heading on this, on this, on this uh, holding pattern? Uh, don't know. It's probably like 320, something like that. 307. Just look look at the pen real quick. It's 307. Oh, yeah. There it is. So, some, it's, probably, it's actually at the top of the arrow. The top of your uh, magenta arrow is pointing to the inbound uh, heading. Again, that's no wind. You're doing a really nice job, though. National point shed air 620 is uh, at a flight level 200 descending via the SID, and uh, we've got whiskey. Point center 620 National Pro Spec Vectors Islas 200 left. Spec Vectors Islas 200 left, point shed air 620. And we're supposed to call established in the hold, so uh, it's just National Approach Sirius 327 left, Kilo established in the hold. National Approach Sirius 327 left, Kilo established in our hold. Number 327 Lima Kilo, Roger advise uh, when you're ready for the next approach. 7 Lima Kilo. 7 Lima Kilo. So next time we go outbound, we'll ask for vectors and then we'll do one more ILS, then we'll go home. Okay. If that's okay with you. Oh yeah. This is uh, this training doesn't get any better than this. I'm, this is great weather, you know, this is perfect for what you're doing. So now we're we're inbound, right? Correct. And you have to look at your approach plate. You can see your airplane's inbound on the hole. So I want to exit on an outbound turn, right? It, you can exit any. You can ask her anytime you want, just for convenience, and so we don't get rushed. I'm gonna ask ask her when we're going out there because I don't want her just jamming you in without any time to get ready, you know? Yeah. If we asked right now, she'd probably turn you right that way and blah, 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 you'd be clear to the approach and you'd be assholes and elbows trying to get everything programmed. Do a little heavier rain over there. See the yellow? Yep. Let's go out back to Mike 54, make sure. It's looking okay. Mike 53, Mike 54 looks good. We can do an approach in there, too. We have to. <laughs> There's no way to, not to. No way 
not to. Man, I'll tell you, as soon as you get enough bumps going around, it gets a bit, a bit disorienting, dude. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, That's why they want you to have 40 hours in the weather under a hood. This is way better than under a hood, because just the hood doesn't do a good enough job simulating this. This is way better. Well, if it weren't bumpy, it wouldn't be hard at all. I mean, yeah. this wouldn't even be... But the forces, like all this yeah. wind, 35 knots, that pushes the plane around enough to give you some weird control input feel and some roll yeah. and pitch you don't anticipate. It's the turbulence more than the wind. Yeah, it's, I guess that's what I'm talking about. Now yeah. we're going 100 knots all of a sudden because yeah. I pitched up a bit. Right, okay, ready, so now ready for the next approach? Yeah, so let, let's go ahead. But you can't. Don't you don't touch any buttons because we're. She might not be able to clear you because she might have traffic. Ah, okay. And you'll lose that. And we'll be screwed. Okay. I'll just make a real call. Go ahead. National approach. Zero three two seven Lane Mikila, ready for one more ILS three two at Smyrna with climate instructions. Back to Mike fifty four. Still twenty five ninety nine contact approach one two four point seven five. Twenty four seventy five. Good day down to twenty five ninety nine. 327 Lima Kilo, understand you're ready to come back out for another ILS 32 Smyrna, then uh, back to Lebanon. A firm, 7 Lima Kilo. 327 Lima Kilo, flighting 140, back to ILS runway 32, final approach course Smyrna. Your missed approach instructions will be turn right heading 090, zero, zero, maintain 3000. Fuck, man, I. Fuck uh, 140, uh, 140 on the heading 3000 for now, and missed approach instructions 090, 3000, 7 Lima Kilo. 327 Lima Kilo, what approach are you looking for uh, back into Lebanon? Uh, we'll do the um, the one in the south runway, uh, one nine, GPS one nine. All right. Watch your heading. Watch your heading. Blue Street 5553, National Departure, Red of Contact, I maintain one five thousand. One five fifty thousand, Blue Street five So just do one thing back. Boom, boom, boom. Don't don't stare too long because you saw you got you know. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I got it. So, uh... Blue Street 5553, flighting 090. What did he say? Yeah, zero, Blue Street 5553. Uh, flight heading 140, turn right heading 230. Your missed approach instructions are 090-3000. Okay. November 327, Lima Kilo, turn right heading 240. 240, 7 Lima Kilo. Blue Street 5553, clear Oscar. I like that better. Oscar. I like to get the heading set first and then doing a standard rate turn. On the first view, you were kind of trying to do them both at the same time, and sometimes you were overbanking and it was kind of sloppy. This is probably better. Just dial it in quickly and then start your turn. Sounds good. It's easier. Yeah, it's just probably safer. Yeah, Gump's check. It looks like. Looks good. Let's do this one with the uh, flight director on, so you know, make, make sure you can press the approach button and so forth. It should be a little bit easier than raw data. Great job with the trim, that's awesome. Points at air 620, just after breath, looks like there's a pretty decent cell there. Can we pick up a 330 heading? Points at error uh, 620, understand you went ahead uh, 330 currently? Looks like the yeah, actually we got a little bit of a cell just past right the breath. Now. If we can go around, it'd be great. Points at error uh, 620, fighting 330. Okay, 330, points at error 620. Our ground speed's 93 knots. <laughs> uh, well, 340 work for points here, uh, mm -hmm. 620. November, I'm sorry, uh, points at error 620, uh, yes sir, you can come as far right as the 360. Okay, we'll pick up a 350 then just to clear a little more for points here, 620. Roger. Very nice job. Our concern though is he has you up high right now. Oh yeah. Point that are, uh, 620, maintain the uh, 350 heading, contact Nashville final 124.75. Okay, 350 uh, on the heading, and I'm sorry, the frequency again? 124.75, 2475. 2475, point zero six twenty. thanks. 327, Lee McKeelan, turn right heading 290, intercept the runway 32, final approach course at Smyrna. 290 for intercept. 32 ILS Smyrna, 7 in the kilo. Blue Street 5553, contact Memphis Center, 132.9. Have a good day. Yeah, 
Yeah. He's really holding us up high. I'm not sure why. He must have somebody underneath us or something. I don't know. Alright, 327 Lima Keeley, you're three miles from Oxygen. Maintain 3,000 till established on all the clouds. Cleared ILS on Y32 approach, Smyrna. 3,000 till established. Cleared ILS 32 Smyrna, 7 Lima Kilo. As soon as that needle comes off the wall, you'll be allowed down to 2,200. Or, yeah, 2,000. We'll set that to 2,000. It's off the wall, so lower your nose. Lower your nose. Now we're going to VS, boom, down to 2,000. Like a minus 1,000. There you go. Then we need to get our flaps down to 50. We're well above the glide slope right now. Matt, put your wings in the magenta thing. Number 327 Lima Kilo, radar service, terminal in contact, Smyrna Tower 118.5, we'll talk to you in a minute. Smyrna Tower, 7 Lima Kilo. Matt, your yellow wings in the magenta. Smyrna Tower, Sirius 327 Lima Kilo, 2400 ILS 32. Sirius 327 Lima Kilo, Smyrna Tower, runway 32, clear for the option, winds 18012. Cleared for the option on 327 Lima Kilo. Pass the final approach six and set your missed approach altitude. Not sure. I believe my flight director. Well, it's it has it's never captured the glide slope, so it's kind of worthless right now. You almost should just. Probably turn it off by hitting there. Just do whatever heading it takes to stay. Yeah. It's going to come up quickly. It gets very sensitive. So now start pulling back and trimming for about five, six hundred feet per minute. Otherwise, you'll go right through it. it. Should be about two degrees nose low. That's two and a half. Raise your nose a little bit. Right about there. Just trim it up and set your power to like 25 or something like that. Five hundred. And Tower, did we check in with you, 7 Lima Kilo, uh, inbound ILS 32? We did. We're 7 Lima Kilo, clear for the option 32. Clear the option 32, 7 Lima Kilo. 820 for 720. Minimums. Minimums. We don't see anything. Power up. Pitch up. Right foot on the rudder. Then dial in zero nine zero. I just say seven limit kilo on the go. Uh, Smyrna Tower, zero seven limit kilo on the mist. Zero seven limit kilo, Roger. Contact Nashville departure. You have a good day. Nashville departure, seven limit kilo. So, flight director is just fucking me up. Yeah, let's go heading autopilot IAS. We have a lot of work to do right now. And then give them a call, pass in a 1300 for 3000. Nashville departure, Cirrus 327 Lima Kilo, passing 1400 for 3000 on the mist. Hey, 327 Lima Kilo, Nashville departure, I bet. Nashville altimeter 290 or 0. 90, 7 Lima Kilo. 327 Lima Kilo, right of contact, one mile north at the Smyrna Airport. Uh, climb maintain 3000. Did you have a uh, specific fix you wanted to head to for the RNAV uh, 19 into 11? Let's tell me we need a minute. Yes, we do. Give us just one minute. 7 Lima Kilo. Oh, the plane's flying itself. November 312, Romeo Lima, turn right heading 110, vector your departure gate. Oh, 
flight plan and point Mike 54 as your point. last point. National approach, uh, Sirius 327 Lima Kilo, uh, request uh, direct the lat key for the procedure turn on uh, 19 uh, Lebanon. 327 Lima Kilo, uh, roger that, reaching 3000, you're clear direct lat key. Uh, at 3000, direct lat key, 7 Alright, so go back here and get rid of that. National approach, approach. Volunteer 2005, Lebanon off 16000. Volunteer 2005, National approach, descend and maintain 4000. Yeah, I'm going to go to LAC and do the, the whole procedure turn. And your minimums are going to be uh, 900 feet. Now, wait a second. He said at 3,000, you're clear direct there, so move that over to activate. But just wait till you get to 3,000. Oh, well, <laughs> all right. And then hit now. Technically, we should have waited until we got to 3,000, and none did that. We were at 3,000? Yeah, I know. <laughs> Pretty close. <laughs> I'm going to back off on my power now. Yeah. So, and now you can brief your approach. 100, broken, 2,000, niner, 100, broken, 3,500, overcast, temperature, 2, 4, dew point, 2, 3, altimeter, 2, niner, niner, 1, remarks, density altitude, 1,000, niner, 100, Lebanon Municipal Airport. Automated weather observation 2104 Zulu. Wind 150 at 7. Visibility 5. Sky condition ceiling 2300. Broken 2900. All right. So how many how long till we get to Lackey? We got 16 uh, nautical miles in about five minutes. Let me do a radio call to, I don't think they ever cleared us for this, did they? Yep. They haven't cleared you the approach, but they said upon, at 3,000, you're cleared direct lackey. That's okay. what we did. So you don't, you don't owe them anything. Do not make a radio call. Because he said, at 3,000, clear direct lackey, and we followed his directions. Okay. Later on, when we get a little closer, he'll clear your approach. Next approach, volunteer 2,000. But in the meantime, go, during this uh, next five go minutes, why don't you give me a, you brief this approach to me. The uh, RNAV approach up there, follow the green. Okay, so we've got all our frequencies in, we've checked the weather, missed approach, has climbed to 3,000, direct show up and hold. Uh, one of the initial fixes for the approach. That's right there. On uh, straight. Uh, 2005, approved as requested. So we're going to come out here, do a, uh, do a direct entry. Uh, turn down. No, actually, it's a left, it's a left turn. Okay, so it's a left holding pattern, left pattern? Is that really a left pattern? Correct. Huh. So okay, come in, so you got to do a teardrop, yeah. Yep. And then we'll just... Go ahead and finish the approach. Yeah. And our uh, altitude's currently 3,000. That's our minimum for um, uh, intercepting Latke. And then from Latke, we can step down to 2,300 at DAT. Uh, and at DAT, we can uh, go down to our uh, um, final altitude of 900. Yeah. And look how it has those altitudes right here for you. Isn't that nice? Let's see what that is. Very nice job. Monto 2005, contact uh, Memphis Center, 132.9, have a good day. 32.9, volunteer 2005. 327, Lima Kilo, cross Lackey at 3000, cleared on average runway 19 approach. Uh, Lebanon, advise your procedure turn inbound, please. Cross Lackey at 3000, cleared LPV 19 Lebanon. Advise when entered procedure turn, 7 Lima Kilo. Or, or advise inbound. He wants you to tell, you, tell, you, tell him when you're inbound on it. That's okay. You said it, advise on procedure turn. He wants you to advise when you're inbound on the procedure turn. Not just, not outbound. Okay, thanks. He did that a little too aggressively there. Yeah. I thought I was going to quit for a second. National Departure, Citation 639, Tango Charlie, through uh, 2200 for 3000. Citation 639, Tango Charlie, 
Jason 639 Tango Charlie, National Departure, Radar Contact, Climb and Maintain, 15000. 15000, 9 Tango Charlie. So, if we're cleared, can I hit the approach already? Uh -huh. And it'll still do all this stuff? Yeah. Even though it takes the light off of the map? It just arms your glide path. And okay. But this light goes out. It always freaks me out. Uh, well, that's the same as that, oh, plus vertical. So it's basically the same thing, plus vertical. That's now plus vertical? Yeah. And yours is... Seven number 639, Tango Charlie. What track we're heading to Romeo, Romeo yeah, Bravo, mine, Victor? Mine is not be about uh, 65 degrees. degrees. Right, 639, Tango Charlie, flighting 065. I have to hold zero, six, five, nine, Tango hand, Charlie. And I can't do that until I'm inbound. It's ridiculous. They've made a lot of improvements. So back before GPS, we always just had to do a lot of mental math. We'd put the heading bug there, just fly that, we'd time for a minute. Well, actually, it's a four mile course, so you can't, you have to go four miles away. November 639, Tango Charlie, contact Memphis Center, 132.9, have a good day. 1329 or 9, Tango Charlie. Hey, dummy Tim, this is a four mile hold, it's not a one minute hold. So if I would have read that, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have misspoke. Isn't that cool? Yeah, it even says they're down here, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, so you flunk your check ride if you just went out a minute and turned and didn't honor the four mile business. So we just went past a minute, we're still a mile short. And what's the inbound heading? No wind. Uh, one nine zero, one nine zero. Yeah, or 189, more, nine. specific, more specifically. I'm trying to get you to look at your approach plane. Approach South 525, 16 nine for 5,000 descending via the Swifty. South 525, National Coast, 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 National National Approach, Station 416 Bravo Alpha, 1-1000 uh, with uh, X-ray. Station 416 Bravo Alpha, National Approach, Nashville Altimeter 2990, uh, fly heading 260, effect ILS, runway 20 left, final approach course, descend and maintain 6000. Uh, right, 260, 2000, and expect vector to a uh, 20 left. And uh, for November 416 Bravo Alpha, descend and maintain at So when you get a break on the radio, you'd say national approach, Sirius 327 Limit Kilo, inbound, or procedure turn inbound. National approach, Sirius 327 Limit Kilo, procedure turn inbound. Go somebody else calling approach. Yes, sir. Sirius 327 Lima Kilo, we're on our procedure turn inbound 11 and Mike 54. 327 Lima Kilo, Roger. Advise your IFR cancellation in the air this frequency, yeah. if able, on the ground. As soon as track will be the GCO, change the advisor for to approved. 7 Lima Kilo. 101 Charlie Alpha, fly heading 320, descend to maintain 4000. so far away it's not even showing up yet. <laughs> Lebanon area traffic Cirrus 7 Lima Kilos 15.15 miles to your north setting up GPS final runway 19 Lebanon. Good. Your eyes should be down here reviewing your minimum and your altitudes and everything one more time. Wow, 109 ground speed. <laughs> True airspeed 142. So what altitude could you be at right now if you wanted to be? 2,300. Or you could stay at three and... Finish the Wait for the glide path to be captured. Right, ride right, the glide slip down, either one. I just want to make sure you know exactly where you're at on this approach. Yes. And what makes you feel good about staying at 3,000 is that the glide slope bar appeared there, and you can clearly see that we're below the glide slope. We're below it. We'll get it here soon. And you can. And another thing that should make you feel good is you see the GP, the glide path, is armed, just not captured.
when it when that gets captured, what will that white GP do? It'll turn green and it, move over to the move altitude. Over. Yeah, we'll get rid of all this altitude 3000. It'll move over there, a flash GP, and then it will still turn solid uh, green when it when it clearly captures it. A lot of layers out here, huh? Yes. I thought we were gonna be able to see the field back there, but I, clearly we cannot. Lebanon area traffic, Cirrus 7 Lima Kilo is eight miles to your north on GPS final runway 19, Lebanon. Oh, that's right, I keep forgetting. You, you look over here, that's a great way to do it also. Yeah, I think I would just mechanically set that. 25% as soon as possible. I think it's 30. I think it's 25 closer to, to 30. 30. Yeah. Well, we're on the back side of the power curve too, so it's taking more power to go slower. <laughs> we'll fix that. There you go. I think now that you have your 100, just set 25 to 30. And it should just be pretty good. Well, you're right. It's like it's a very sticky little vacuum when you get your when you get your attitude up a little bit. It, it's amazing. 2,500 for 900. On. So you're one of the few people that actually understands backside of the power curve. That's what they're talking about. It takes more power to go slower. <laughs> that's a that's a curve. Wow, that's wet worse than I thought it was going to be. Like they said, 2,000 feet. We're below 2,000 AGL right now. We still can't see it. Uh, 3,000. Yeah, Lebanon area traffic, Cirrus 327 Lima Kilo is five miles to your north on GPS final runway 19, Lebanon. There's no way you can be VFR today. Nineteen hundred for nine hundred. Now we got it. Yeah, which we're five hundred feet below the clouds. I think which I think we are, Tim. I think we are. We just opened up. Yeah. They can call back and cancel. Nashville approach, Cirrus three two seven Lima Kilo has airfield in sight. Three two seven Lima Kilo, Roger that, sir. You uh, cancel at this time? Yes, sir. Cancel IFR. 327 Lima Kilo, appreciate that. Cancellation of IFRC, squawk feet far, change the device. Free to have a good day. 7 Lima Kilo, thanks for your help today. Anytime, sir. Lebanon uh, traffic, Cirrus 327 Lima Kilo is three miles to your north on GPS final runway 19, Lebanon. You want me to do half flap or full flap landing? As long as you're above 500 feet, you're allowed to. Go, go full flap. If you get, if you hear that 500 call and you still haven't broken out, they want you to stay with what you got. They don't want you. They want you to be stable by 500 feet. But I I agree with this, how Sirius does it that way. So like 1200 for 900. Uh. Ninety-one knots, ninety knots. Five hundred. I 
I think I hit, this answers your Minimums. question. If you did, Minimums. You didn't punch that up out off, it hit the nose gear first. <laughs> right? Well, no, we're, we're full flaps. I still think we're we're pointed down so much. If you didn't disengage that, oh, pilot, for sure on full hit. flaps, but on half flaps, it would be almost flat. Uh, possibly, Do you think? Possibly. I'll take out the autopilot. A little bit of a gust there. Lebanon traffic, Cirrus 327, Lima Kilos, clear of the active runway 19 and taxiing to the FBO. Lebanon. That was a great flight. We got a shitload done. Three ILSs and the GPS approach. Yeah, that's four approaches, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, crazy. <laughs> 